I've been thinking about doing this video for a really long time and what stopped me from doing it is I don't want to badmouth the company or anything like that. So as a disclaimer, I'm going to share why I stopped using ClickFunnels, but I don't want you to walk away with the idea that it's a bad company, okay? I'm going to explain to you how their services and what they have did not work for me and how being a new entrepreneur at the time, I kind of fell into the the hula. I don't know what to call it. I, I fell into you know, get wanting this tool and all these other tools. And I think a lot of us do that when we're new. We don't know what we're doing and we trust everybody out there. And what we end up finding out is everybody's just trying to sell us something. So I'm going to show, kind of share my journey, how I ended up there, why I left and where I'm at now. I can remember back in like 20, maybe 18, 19, I started getting this desire to start my own business, but my problem at the time was I wasn't really sure what that business would be. So I'm sure there's a lot of you out there like that. There's people that want to start YouTube channels or start a business or, or start a mailing list and they have no idea what to put in there. And that's okay. You have that desire. So there's nothing wrong with that. So you start searching, you start um, looking at different companies because there's all these people out there saying, I'm with this company and I'm an affiliate marketer and we sell training for 15 hundred dollars for a training course and you can do the same thing or you can sell my course and you can get 500 and I get a thousand and it's passive income so it all sounds wonderful and I'm not saying people aren't successful but we as new entrepreneurs get swept up in everything and I remember going to this one training that I bought because everybody said educate yourself and you still should I don't discount that but the first course that I took was talking about um, there was this woman she was like 30 days and I was all excited I went in there every single day live and what she was promoting was Facebook and she was telling us and teaching us how to go in and basically I'm gonna use my own terminology bombard Facebook with your Facebook page and then get in there and just start selling who you are and what you want and so I did that and I did it the way they said to and now I know that's not ethical uh, most Facebook groups do not want you going in and trying to sell yourself or your stuff in their groups it's not ethical if they ask you not to do it you shouldn't but this course was teaching us how to do it and so as a result of that on my Facebook group list I had probably 90 different groups I was in and I'll tell you how this hurt me in the next one. There was a free Facebook um, course from somebody else who became successful through ClickFunnels and I followed him and I wanted to take this course because at that time I was already in ClickFunnels and that person denied, rejected me being able to join this free course because I was in too many groups because that was not a good thing. That, did, that said bad things about you and that, you know. So the point is here I was trying very hard to educate myself and to be in these things and learn and it was contradicting itself. So how did I end up with ClickFunnels? Well, ClickFunnels, again, I, um, I heard about the You're Just One Funnel Away program. And again, it was live. I had to go in every day. And we got all this training. And it is, you are one funnel away if you know what you're doing. <laughs> if you know what you're selling and you have it solidified, your business, and then you go to that, that's different. Um, and that, that's my point. And now you might be saying, well, what is ClickFunnels? Um, you keep talking about it. I'm assuming that all of you that are watching the video and wondering why I left know what it is. But ClickFunnels is a, a like a one-stop shop program. They will house your emails. They help you collect emails so that you can have an email list. They will help you create a funnel so that you can give away something free to somebody. And then they give you their email. That's a funnel. And then they also will help you pr push your emails out to people who are on your email list. So it's basically, they also say they provide a one-stop shop for website, but I disagree with that. That part really is not true. Um, it looks like a website and it can look like a fake one, but it really doesn't have the same functionality as a true website. And that's something I found out while I was there. So what did I do next? I did join 
I bought the tool, I started using it, I set things up, and it is easy to manipulate. I'm not going to discount that. You can also become an affiliate and have other people sign up. And at the time, it was like 40%, so it was great. Um, and it was like $97 a month. And again, if you're selling courses and you're making money, it, it can pay for itself. You just need three or four people under you um, as affiliates, and it basically pays for itself. So that, that part wasn't hard. That that was not a problem. Um, I did end up going to one of their conventions. They have one every year. And I think I went like the year before COVID hit and I was really excited about it. And it, it was pricey to go. I mean, I had to pay for a room. We went for three or four nights and, and it, it was a big deal. I ended up sharing a room with people, met new friends, but let me tell you the pros and cons of doing that. And I'm sure a lot of companies out there do that. They have everybody come in. There was like 4,000 people and I had never been to one before. So I may just be telling you something you already know, but I was surprised. I expected to go to this convention and to be taught things like a workshop. That's kind of what the feeling I got from it. So I was very excited to learn. And that's why I kept paying for things is that I wanted to learn. I wanted to, I was hungry for, for information. And when I got there, the pros, I'll share those first. Um, there were people from all over the world there. And I was like, wow, people flew in from Europe and you know, across the, the country to come here, not the country, but across the world to come here, taking 30 hour flights. And, and we were in Nashville and people were very excited and it was just amazing to me. And that made it more exciting. So that was definitely a pro and everybody had a lot of hope, you know, for, for this whole convention. Um, you know, they wanted to learn and that's why we were there. Um, however, some of the cons I found out after three days of sitting there that every time a speaker got up to talk yeah you got some nuggets that's how you do sales but then they were trying to sell you something and it kind of got old after a while because you're like okay I want to learn something but don't keep selling me and selling me and selling me you already sold me to get here so now give me something for my money and that's the part that was disappointing. And I have to say my husband was right. He told me that <laughs> he, he did not go with me. I went by myself. Um, but I have to learn the hard way. Right. And he said that he said, people are always just trying to take your money, trying to sell you something, you know, be, be cautious. I didn't buy anything when I was there. I didn't buy the t-shirts and all the swag stuff. Um, because I felt like I already paid enough for it. But, um, you know, even that they were trying to sell hats and t-shirts and everything, just sell, 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 sell. And, and that was disappointing. So why did I end up leaving after that? Um, I did stay with the company a couple years, but one of the things that really started to disappoint me was they, you know, they make millions. They, they're very profitable. Um, and again, it was my choice to sign or not to sign up. So that's why I'm not discounting the company. They did what they do, but what was disappointing to me was, first of all, they took the affiliate program and they lowered the percentage that you earn to 30. 30% 30 is still a good percent, but why do these companies, and this isn't the first company that's done that, and I'm not going to name others. I'm just using that as an example. I guess it's something that they do. They draw people in to become affiliates. Um, and then after a couple years, three, four, five years, they lower the fee that they let people have. Because see, now they're going for the masses and they can lower it that we get and they make more. And that happened. And then they raised the price from $97 a month to $147. So not only did they take part of your affiliate commission, they also raised your monthly fee. And that, I felt like, that just, I guess, was the... The, the, the thing that broke the camel's back, right? The thing that made me say, I'm not, I'm not staying. I'm looking for somebody else. And I did find another company and I'll share it with you after I start using it. Cause I want to make sure it's what they say they are, but I did find another company that does provide funnels and email and collect your emails and do all the same things. Um, it's not a one-stop shop for a website. I've got a separate website, but, but what I like about this new company is they allow you to use their services for free as long as you have less than 2,000 customers on your email list. And I think that is very fair. It's more than fair, actually. But they're giving people who are learning time to build up a base and then they start charging. And I'm really excited about this company. So that was one thing I really liked. I feel like when you are a big company and you're already successful and you're already profitable, help other people. Don't keep taking from them and don't, 
I, I think what they're doing is um, stealing our hope, if that makes sense. They're, they're abusing our hope. Because when we're new, we are very hopeful. We're naive. We're trying to learn. And, and, and I, I would love for you guys to put comments down there if you've had experiences. Because I, I got disheartened about the whole s uh, marketing system, if that makes sense. I am not out to become a millionaire. I am not out to make millions and millions of dollars off of other people's hope that they come to me and they give me money for something that isn't worth what I'm giving them. Does that make sense? I don't think that a course that I sell for a hundred dollars for two years and then all of a sudden a lot of people know me and then all of a sudden I raise the price to 1500 I know somebody that did that I'm not going to give a name again but I have the course I bought it at a hundred dollars and the same person was trying to teach everyone you know a few years later after this person became more successful look I can sell the same course now for 1500 why would you do that why is it all of a sudden more valuable just because more people trust you more people like you and so now you're taking advantage and taking money from people when you were helping so many at a hundred uh, so I guess we each have to decide what person that you want to be if you're okay doing all that then go for it um, I just didn't feel good about it I don't feel it doesn't sit right with me so and and mainly because I'm not trying to become a millionaire I'm, I'm looking at making enough money cash flow in my retirement and I'm okay with that. I have a certain amount that I'm striving for. Uh, we have three or four different avenues that we're working on and we'll get there. And I share that um, on my YouTube channel um, in bits and pieces. <laughs> but my, my point is you have to decide what it is you want and then follow and stay true to yourself, trust your gut and be careful when you are selecting different courses that you're going to take or different tools that you're going to use. Do your research. Don't just jump on everything. And like I said, I didn't feel like I was jumping on everything. I felt like I was doing the right thing and putting all these things in place. But sometimes all those tools are not needed until you have built up some kind of a base. So if you have a following on social media, um, or you have a base, an email base already set up, that's different than maybe you're ready for those steps. But that's not what they teach per se. They just kind of pull you in and they're willing to take your money and sell you something that you're probably not ready for. So I, I don't know. Again, this was just my journey and I just wanted to share it. Don't, they're a good company. I mean, for, but it has to be the right fit for the right person, right? If you're, if you're going to go out and buy a pair of shoes and somebody else is saying these are great shoes, well, maybe they are for you because maybe you hike all the time and you need to pay $400 for those hiking shoes. But I just take walks around the block. And so maybe a good pair of tennis shoes will work for me. Does that make sense? Um, and, and, and I want to use another analogy before I go. I always say that building your business is almost like raising children. We end up with this baby in our hands and very few of us really had official training right on how to raise that child i have fun now watching young mothers now it's kind of fun in a good way i'd love to watch because i was there and you don't know what you're doing but you know what you figure it out you talk to people you read books books are cheap Books are a lot cheaper to read than going out and buying a course. I'm reading a book right now by somebody about wealth, and it's fantastic. And the same person, I like this person, I watch them on YouTube, but they're trying to sell me a course, and I know the course is everything I'm reading in the book. Um, and, I, and I feel like, why should I turn around and give you more money for t telling me something that I just read here? And, and so, but that's how the system works. You know, they just keep building up, and that's what a funnel is. They keep sell, 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 sell. So you got to know when to stop. Maybe some people don't like to read and they, they but go ahead and get a, um, an audio book. You can get one of those. Sometimes you can get them for free off of Amazon, right? So think you can learn information, but you don't have to put a lot of money out. And just like kids, you, you, you talk to your friends, you talk to other people that had children, you read books, you did not pay for $1,500 courses and you did not sign up to go to a group once a week you know for three thousand dollars um so you could learn so think about it compare that you know there there's information out there and you don't have to spend so much money is my point 
um, and, and real quick, we, we met one couple. Um, when I say we, I had met a friend that we became close friends. She lives in another state even, but um, we, we kept on sharing things and, and encouraging each other. And one of the couples that we followed, that we learned a lot from, kept saying, we spent fifty, sixty thousand dollars $60,000 in training. And it kind of made you think, oh, we have to train, train, train. And again, I, you just get caught up in everything. And I know some of you are thinking, well, you're stupid. I did not spend that much. I did not. But my point was, they, the, the, the message was, you gotta take all these trainings, you gotta learn. And I, my message to you is yes, you do need to educate yourself. You do need to learn, but you can do it by reading books and getting some free audios. Like I said, Amazon will give you a free audio. You can earn them, right? Um, and listen if that's if that's your way. And YouTube, there's a lot of free information out there. Of course, you got to sort it out. And um, just follow your gut. Figure it out, but it doesn't have to cost you a lot of money.